Hello, it's Gem Games here once again, and in this video we are going to fix the stabbing. So first we are going to actually make it work, because now sometimes when you stab, it doesn't spawn the stab trace. Now it does, but sometimes it doesn't. So we will fix that. First, and then we will add a little camera shake and some other effects. That. So yeah, let's get started. First you want to go to the PP first person character, and to the step trace, you can find it on the functions list. Okay, here on the start we have this step state is not equal to zero. Okay, we actually want to delete this. We don't need that anymore. We have adjusted the code in some episode. And now let's connect this back to the sphere trace by channel. And also, here let's actually one debug type debug type for duration, compile and say now it at least should spawn it every time. Because before it sometimes glitches and it didn't spawn anything. Okay, at least now it should. The next thing, we can actually now change that back to none. Okay, like that. Compile and save. Now let's go to the event graph. And on the event craft, we want to go to the stabbing function, which should be, oh, here, yeah, should be here. Now, what we want to do here is, here at the start, everything looks good. Here, everything is okay. Yes. Okay, let's actually do one thing here, because now, uh, if we, like, press the step button, uh, right after we have step, like this, it will step the second time. Okay, so, I think it doesn't work, like, exactly how we want, because now, if I double click, it will still do the second step, like, second after. So, let's fix that. I think we have put this a little bit too close to here. So let's actually get this set step state one. Let's copy it and delete it. Let's connect this straight to the play montage. Now let's move all this after the play montage a little bit to the left, like that. And now here on the top, so on, on blend out, I think we want to set uh, step state one here. So let's move this a little bit further and paste that set step state to one. Okay, and on blend out, let's connect it to here. Like that. I think now it's a lot better. And one other thing we can do here this play rate on this step montage, let's change it to 1.5. Okay, I think that's a lot better. Okay, let's compile and save. Now the next thing I will actually want quickly check. Yeah, let's go and see. So now, stepping is a lot faster. Okay, one more thing we can make it even faster is here on the step montage. Starting position, if we set it to two, uh, one, 0 0.2, like that. Compile, save, and let's go and try. Now, Okay, we have some weird issues with uh, sounds. It's because we have set the... Uh, let's go to the animations and to the step, and to the step montage. So now, let's find the point to... Oh, okay, we have set the uh, a knife B swing cue at the point two, so it might not spawn or play. So let's actually, let's put it like 0.25, like there, this, where we spawn the trace, I think we want to put it, it's right now on the 0.33, let's move it to frame 13, or maybe frame 12, so point. 40. 
I think those were the settings that I used on my other project. Okay, now let's save and let's go and see. Okay, now you can see the knifing is a lot faster. It doesn't have that kind of delay, you know. Okay. Uh, and also on the step one montage, we have set this blend in time to 0 0.25. Let's set it to like 0 0.1. Let's save and try. Okay, now it looks a lot better. One thing I noticed when I was playing Call of Duty Zombies is the crosshair goes uh, like hidden when we step. So let's do that. So let's go to the PP first person character. And after all this function, all this code here at the bottom, we have this step crosshair timeline. We want to set ADS, uh, ADS timeline alpha. So this one. This will change the opacity of the crosshair. Okay, and now let's connect this just to here. Okay, let's compile and save. So now when we stop, you can see the crosshair goes away for a second. Okay, everything looks pretty nice here. Okay, uh, the next thing, let's add a little camera shake. So, what we want to do now, we want to go to our camera shakes folder. Want to just duplicate some of these, I think it's easier. So, CS on land, duplicate, and let's call it CS step. Okay, let's open it. And what I did here, I first change this duration to 0.3 and blending time to 0.05 and blend out time 0 point, uh, 0 0.1 okay and so what we want to do here we want to first set the yaw so we want it to turn to the right to camera when we are stepping so let's this initial offset random let's make it zero and amplitude Let's make the amplitude 20. You can obviously adjust it however you want, but let's first make it 20. And frequency 1. So we want it to do it one time. So let's compile, save. Let's set all these others to 0 for a second, so we test. Okay, let's move this to here, and let's go to the PP first person character again. Let's move all the step cross hair uh, timeline thing. Let's move it a little bit further here. And... I would actually move this a little bit also. Now, what we want to, we want to get layer, layer controller. And we want to get from it, we want to client camera, client start camera shake. Okay, so this one. Let's connect it after the step trace. Let's actually move this like that. Okay, and now they are not aligned correctly. Yeah, I will align them a little bit better. Okay, that's better. The shake should be the CS step, and we don't have to actually change anything else here. So, compile and save. Now, when we step, the camera should shake to the right. Yeah, it doesn't look that good yet, but when we add these other things here, so next thing to roll. There we want to also add amplitude 20 and frequency 1 and initial offset uh, 0. Okay, compile and save. So now you can see it looks a lot like in Call of Duty. It goes pretty much the same way. Okay. And also we can add some randomness to this. So, uh, let's go back to the CS step, and here on the top, this pitch one, let's set this initial offset to random, uh, amplitude, let's set it to like 2, and frequency 1, okay, 
now it adds a little bit uh, rotation in like I'll show you if I go to here it will add a little bit rotation random rotation like uh, in this direction like this okay so let's compile save and test So now the stepping doesn't feel exactly the same every time. And as you can see, it's looking already a lot better. Yeah, I think that was all for this video. If you enjoyed, please click the like button and yeah, subscribe and see you on the next one. Bye.